In this video, we are going to discuss chain folding pattern example. So, we shall go for one practical implementation of this concept. So, in this example, we will provide posts.xml and also users.xml. These two XML files will be there to separate the users whether where the reputation is above 3000 and below 3000. So, this is the assignment we are going to have and going to implement in our next demonstration using Java coding and how to run it, how to get the output, we will be showing that one also in the demonstration. In this example, we are discussing chain folding pattern example and it is falling under the meta pattern design pattern. So, here is the problem is that we are supposed to separate users where reputation is greater than 3000 and also below 3000. So, in this way we shall have to separate them. We are going to have two XML files, one is the posts.xml, another one is the users.xml. This post.xml is under the folder slash input slash post and users.xml will be under the folder slash input slash user. So, these two XML files will be uh, using and here you see we are having this slash input slash user posts.xml and let me go for slash input slash users users.xml. So, let me show you the respective file content. So, at first we are going for users.xml under the users tag we are having multiple number of rows two of them I have shown and each and every row has got multiple attributes like your id, reputation, creation date, display name and so on. So, these are the multiple different rows will be there in the main users.xml. So, now we shall discuss what will be the current content of posts.xml under the posts tag we are having multiple row tags with multiple attributes id, post type id, accepted answer id, creation date, score and so many other attributes are there. So, this posts.xml will be also having multiple records. Now, we shall concentrate on our Java program. This Java program will be having only a single class, only one Java program we shall be having and here we will be having the respective two mappers and the respective reducers. So, here the name of the Java class is our chain folding MR task that is the name of the Java class. Within this Java class we have defined multiple public static final strings that is a average calculation group, multiple outputs below 3000, multiple outputs above 3000. So, there are multiple final strings are defined and they have got initialized with this. So, you see multiple outputs below 300, 3000. So, below 3000 whatever the value and above 3000 whatever the value we put against them will be creating our folders. Now, we shall go for uh, one inner class that is the user count mapper and this user count mapper will be extending the map reduce base class and implementing the mapper interface. So, mapper interface implementing means it must be implementing the map method. Within that we have defined one static final string that is a records counter name initialized with this records that is a record records counter name initialized with the records it is a final that means constant. Also we are defining private static final long writable one is equal to new long writable one. So, here it is one will be containing one there and also the output key of the type of text. So, these are the variables that are defined within this class. And now we are within the within the map method, we are overriding the map method, we are having XML parts which will be instantiated by the output argument of XML to map function. This function will actually convert the XML content to the hash map object and that has been that will initialize the XML parts. Now from this XML parts we are supposed to get the uh, get the user ID that is the owner user ID will be getting this one and that will initialize the user ID here. So, get use user id from the posts. So, if user id is equal to is equal to null or is not equal to null then we will be setting that one to this output key and output dot collect that is a uh, output key and one. Now, we are going to have our map reduce. So, extending the map reduce base class and implementing the mapper interface. So, this is the respective class here. So, that is a user reputation mapper. So, in this in this class we are having one output key of the type of text and one hash map object that is a user reputation map 
and which has been instantiated the key value paired will be of the type of string and string we are having this method configured we are overriding that one it is having one user reputation map dot clear we are clearing that reputation map and then we are creating one uri one uri array name of uh, name of that is files that is the uri array which is being instantiated with this distributed cache get cache files the, the respective one has been deprecated but it is working fine in our code and job will be the input argument so if files is equal to is equal to null or the files dot length is equal to is equal to zero that means that if the array is empty in that case we are throwing one exception otherwise read all files in the distributed cache so for uri uri for each uh, content in the files the files array and we'll be defining path p is equal to new path uri file system fs is equal to file system dot get job so they are getting instantiated now to read data from the file we have created one buffer reader object rdr which will be which will be actually required to read data from the file now within this while we will be having this xml parts again initialize with this xml to map which will uh, which will convert the line from the line it will be parsing that one and that will be in, uh, initializing this xml parsed within this while we will we'll be reading line by line so users has been initialized with this get id reputation has been initialized with this uh, xml parse reputation now we shall go for one if if block that if user is not equal to null and reputation is not equal to null user reputation map dot put user comma reputation so we are putting that one in the respective map user and reputation and it has been enclosed within the try catch block properly so i think we are getting my point how we are doing now you know that we are having this map interface so map method has to be overwritten here so here we are going for that is a reputation is equal to user reputation map dot key that is a key to string we are converting this key to the string and that will be assigned to the string reputation and we will be having if the reputation is not equal to null then output key will be having this uh, there is a key then tab then reputation and output dot collect output key and value so key value paired will be kept in this output dot collect so in this way the map method body has been written and the value has been passed as input argument next we are going to have our map reduce base so we are uh, in inheriting that one are also implementing the reducer interface in long sum reducer so here we are supposed to we are bound to write or define the reduce uh, method body so here int sum is equal to 0 while values dot has next if the if next values are available sum plus equal to values dot next dot get so getting each and every value and getting it added with the sum so output value dot set sum so sum will be kept in the output value and output dot collect key output value so we'll be writing the key value pair onto the output so in this way the reduce method has been defined so now we shall go for um, now we shall go for another uh, uh, that is a mapper there is a user bin mapper we'll be going for the user bin mapper after writing this key and value pair we'll be going for user bin mapper so let me go for that and this user bin mapper is extending this map reduce base and implementing the mapper interface overriding the configure method so there is a multiple outputs multiple output object is mos has been initialized with null and so within this configure we are writing mos is equal to new multiple outputs configuration we are passing the configuration as input conf and we are bound to override this map method because we are implementing this mapper interface so within the map method we are writing integer dot parse int key to string dot split slash t1 if it is less than 3000 that means we are converting this uh, key to string and splitting it with the tab and going for the second argument so second value so the if it is if the count is below 3000 then we will be going for ms dot get collector multiple outputs below 3000 reporter dot collect key comma value so similarly the same thing will be happening for this multiple outputs above 3000 uh, 3, so that will be kept into this mos dot get collector now we are going for this close and we are just closing that one within this try catch block as usual so xml to map we have discussed already so let me come to this main function now this main function requires three parameters the first one is the respective class name and then the post folder and then users folder 
and then the output folder so uh, so arc 0 arc 1 arc 2 and otherwise system exit 2 we're just initializing the post input from the argument 0 but initializing post input from the argument 0 user input from the argument 1 and then output directory from this argument 2 now here we are setting multiple mappers and reducers so at first we are setting up the set jar by class there is a chain folding mrtux.class here we are going for chain mapper dot add mapper so here we are uh, introducing three mapper we are adding and one reducer we are adding so respective the parameters have been passed so we have in the config user count mapper dot class long writable dot class text dot class text dot class and wrong writable dot class so respective values and key value pairs everything the uh, the respective class types are mentioned the class names have got mentioned for the full declaration and there is a text class and the long writable class and false and then new job configuration false so in this way you can find that we have just uh, adding this uh, with this chain mapper we are adding this uh, this user account mapper dot class in this four lines we are doing all these things in this four lines we are doing we are just if these four lines are there and the upper one the four lines are there so now here we are going for another mapper that is here we did the user count mapper here we are going for this uh, user reputation mapper and then some long sum reducer long sum reducer also we are passing the respective parameters so we are adding them in a chain reducer now add mapper another one is the user binning mapper everything we define in the previous case we can see that we have defined everything now we shall go for this set combiner so here the reducer class has been treated as a combiner class so config.set input format that is the in, uh, text input format dot class and text input format dot set input paths will be config and post input so all the variables whatever you have defined earlier they are being used configure multiple outputs so set output format that is a null output format dot class file output format set output path is config and output dar which you got the from the third argument command line argument add the name output and also the add name output so multiple outputs above 3000 multiple outputs below 3000 and with the respective classes as required these are the I'm doing the right call you just check now we shall go for the output key class will be text class and output uh, value class will be the long writable class add the user files to the distributed cache now so file status array will be the users files is a file status array so file system dot get config user uh, list status user input and then from this users file that is a file status array for each and every status we're going for distributed cache dot add cache file status dot get path to uri comma config so this uh, we are adding all this these cache files we are adding here onto the distributed cache now we shall check that now we shall check one the job that is we are defining one job so after running all this adding this one the config we defined earlier now we shall go for this job and the job client dot run job config so job object running job object has been created if the job has not been completed then wait for the five seconds and again check again otherwise we shall uh, after coming out we shall go for if job is successful then return zero otherwise one so in this way the whole java program we have explained line by line whatever the variables we define earlier they have been used in the later on now the now the tasks you know that is we are going to create the jar file that means file package right button click explode and go for the jar folder and the jar file name we have done that one earlier so we are not going to do that one I have shown you that one in the other videos multiple times now let me go for this command that is the command to execute so Hadoop jar respective the jar folder and the jar file name then you shall go for this package and then the class name then the input slash input slash post which will be containing the posts.xml slash input slash user which will be containing the users.xml and slash output where the 
below 3000 and above 3000 those two uh, folders will be uh, below average and above, above average folders will be created so we are executing so we know that here we are separating users depending upon the reputation whether the reputation is above 3000 or below 3000 so that was our task in this chaining folding chain folding pattern example so let me let me see that whether those two folders have got created under the output folder or not and then we shall see the part file contents and accordingly so the command is executing i hope it will not show any errors Yes, it has got perfectly executed. Let me come to this here. So we shall we shall go for this output, the output formatter. This output is there. So now we are having this above three three thousand and below three thousand. So above three thousand and below three thousand, two of part files have got created. So now we shall go for the respective print. So we shall execute this SDFS, DFS minus cat and those two file names we are having under the output folder. So that is above star I am just putting, I am not writing the full file name. So here you can find the respective output of that file under that output folder and now we shall go for this below. below start enter so these outputs have been have been shown here now let me delete this output folder I hope that you have got this uh, process how the process has to be carried out how to write the Java code how to execute the command so let me delete this output folder I think now you are getting confidence to run this example Thanks for watching this video.